morning everyone. Welcome back to our good morning devotion. We are so happy that in spite of this uh, quarantine, we can study the Word of God, we can pray, and receive answers from the Lord. So, come and join me in this morning devotion and let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus, we lift up to you this morning devotion. We ask the Holy Spirit to open our hearts and our minds and let us all receive the word of truth that will set us free. Lord, I pray for everyone who will listen. Let them receive the word from the word of God with clarity. Thank you so much, O God. This we ask in prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Today, we will look up at the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 102, verses 1 and 2, and then verses 18 to 28. So if you have your Bible with you, please join me in reading His Word. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. In verses 18 to 28, let this be recorded for a generation to come, so that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord, that he looked down from his holy height. From heaven the Lord looked at the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and in Jerusalem his praise. When peoples gather together and kingdoms to worship the Lord, he has broken my strength in mid-course. He has shortened my days. O my God, I say, take me not away in the midst of my days. You whose years endure throughout all generations, of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will change them like a robe, and they will pass away. But you are the same, and your years have no end. The children of your servants shall be dwell secure. Their offspring shall be established before you. Blessed be the reading of God's word. Today we will study about perspective. I'm grateful and thankful to God when I experience his troubles in different parts of the world. And one country that I went is Japan. So in Japan, I went to Tokyo Tower. It is the second tallest structure in Japan. And the second one is the Tokyo Skytree Tower. It is the tallest structure in Japan and by 2011, making it the tallest tower in the world, displacing the Canton Tower. When I was at the top of it, my experiences at the top of it helped me about a lesson on perspective. What is perspective? Perspective means a particular attitude toward or a way of regarding something, a point of view. So in Psalms 102, let us look at the perspective of the psalmist on this verse. In verse 1 and 2, he approached God with this perspective. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. So this is how the psalmist or the writer look at God. 
Is really God hides His face to us? Is God really hide His face to us? Yes. He hides His face to us. But when? When we commit sin. Sin makes God hide His face to us. No? The Bible says, because of sin, He makes Him hide His face to us. No? His hand is not shorter. He's not blind. But because of our sin, He hides His face to us. But when we admit and confess our sins to Him, He is faithful to forgive us. And after that, there is no reason for us, for God, not to hear our prayer. God has a pers perfect perspective in everything we experience. Once again, I will repeat, our God has a perfect perspective in everything we experience. What is perspective? I told you a while ago, it means a particular attitude or a way of regarding something or a point of view. So, God has a perfect perspective in everything we experience. The world experiences pandemic. The world pandemic is known to Him and He knows how to end it. He knows when will it stop. He knows when it will become an ordinary thing. The psalmist wrote in verses 19 and 20 of Psalms 102 that God looked down from His holy height from heaven. The Lord looked at the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners to set free those who were doomed to die. When I was in Tokyo Tower, when I was in the Tokyo Sky Tree Tower, wow, I saw everything. Because Sky Tree in Tokyo is the tallest tower in the world. Imagine that. It's taller than Eiffel Tower. It's taller than Sky Garden in London. It's taller than the Taipei 101. So I saw everything. So God also has so much perspective about us. He's up. And He saw everything. He saw the whole world. He saw the whole universe. So, in Psalms 102, like the hurting hearts of psalmists, also the Israelites' people experience hardships, pains, and struggles for 400 years. They are crying to God for help for 400 years. It is, seems to them that God is not concerned with them and He is not seeing them. But God called Moses and told him that He hear the cry of His people, the Israelites. God, in His perspective, caught God, in His perspective, sees our lives from the beginning and end. He knows your beginning. He knows your end. Our God is never caught off guard in what is happening in the world, in our nation, in your family, in your life, in your job, that can be blindsided us or Things that we has a pure, a poor view, a poor view, but God, in His infinite wisdom, He saw us. 
His perfect perspective will lead to an ultimate rescue that will set us free. God wants us to be set free. The Israelites people will set, set, were set free from 400 years of captivity in Egypt. God came to rescue them because He saw everything. He knows your struggles. He knows your problems. He knows what's happening in your finances. He knows what's happening in your relationship inside your home. He knows everything about you. That He looked down from His holy height from heaven. The Lord look at you. The Lord look at the earth. The Lord look at your life. The Lord look at your family. To hear your groans or to hear the groans of the prisoners to set free those who are doomed to die. So that is God. He knows everything. His perspective is so broad and wide. In the midst of your struggles and pain, always think that God sees you and He will help you to escape from it. Let me repeat it. In the midst of your struggles and pain, always think that God sees you and He will help you to escape from it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I'm grateful and thankful to you because you know everything. You know our beginning and you know our end. You know us individually. You know us. You know every struggles. You know every pain. You know everything concerning me and concerning them. I pray, O oh God, let our faith yield to you and submit to you. Help us to think that you are always there looking upon us and you are always want to help us and to rescue us lord grateful and thankful i pray today for every employees and every listener i pray for your divine protection in the name of jesus i pray for your provisions of finances in the name of jesus for them i pray for your help O oh god to deliver them from all struggles and pain hardship in the name of jesus i pray lord let their emotion be healed in the name of jesus christ and let them experience lord your health your good health father i pray as they travel let their your divine protection be with them in jesus name i pray for all the employees of uni group of companies let your blessing be with them. Let your protection be with them. Even, Lord, the foundation, O Lord God, help them, Lord, to touch more forgotten neighbor in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare your blessing to Captain John. We pray for your health and full recovery in his body in the name of Jesus. God, thank you so much. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. Shalom. God bless and bless God.